Pico Master allows me to use uh, kind of crazy samples, which are highly non-standard. Either they are really small, like two by two millimeters, or they are long and thin, or they are thick and so on. And I can do all this uh, with the Pico Master. I'm a chair in experimental physics at the University of Osnabrück and my research topic is quantum spintronics. On the one hand we are developing quantum materials with very exciting spin properties like endohedral fullerenes that are molecular spin qubits and also nitrogen vacancy centers in diamond that are very good spin sensors. On the other hand we are also developing um, measurement methods and control methods for these quantum materials. Mainly the software, the interface uh, was so easy to like understand. When I started working, I just got some few uh, introductions from people who were using before and it was very easy to navigate the different parts of the software and the interface was very good. The best part is that since we have two groups working with the same machine and we have different uh, materials we work on, uh, so often we have to adjust the parameters and this, uh, this can be saved inside the PicoMaster software so it's very easy and my fabrication process it just takes me 15 to 20 minutes to fabricate a pattern so it has been overall very great for me. Uh, my name is Karula Meyer. I'm the head of the electronic transport group here at the University of Osnabrück and we are doing electronic transport uh, on molecules, macromolecules like carbon nanotubes and uh, also on graphene. We are interested not so much in the pure materials, but we functionalize them with molecules, macromolecules, biomolecules. So we are interested in molecular interactions as well as in spin injection and spin interactions. It's really great uh, in the sense that like we can, um, I know, deposit or grow nanotubes on our substrate, then uh, localize these uh, nanotubes with uh, atomic force microscopy. And uh, afterwards, uh, with the Pico Master, we can uh, precisely write on top of these carbon nanotubes. I think uh, with regular UV photography, it's impossible. The Pico Master uh, for my research uh, is the, the working horse. Yeah? So uh, without lithography, we would not be able to make electronic devices. Uh, we use it mainly to pattern the contacts in order to be then able to measure the transport. Um, but also when we think of graphene, we also need to do patterning of the um, yeah, structures of the graphene itself. And I have uh, thought long and hard whether to use optical lithography or e-beam lithography, in which combination. And then I summed up the total of and compared that to my budget and found that there is one really convenient solution. Just use the Pico Master that can produce tiny structures as well as very large structures that allows you to work on transparent substrates, that allows you to work on non-conducting substrates, and that can handle very different formats of samples. Mm -hmm.